Hey fans, fans, it's Dan here with Treebird Book Reviews. So just getting ready to go out. We're gonna do some uh, some book thrifting today. Have a free uh, a free day. So on the weekend, just gonna go pop out. I'm probably gonna stop at like four or five uh, bookstores. Hope you guys enjoy this. A lot of people ask me to show you my book thrifting process. So what I'm gonna be doing is just record what I find. I'd probably just do like a voiceover and stuff like that. It'd be easier. And I'll, sh I'll tell you some of the books I buy. So I'm pretty excited for it. Hope you guys enjoy this and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys. So first thing I wanted to start out with was um, these uh, these Terry Pratchett books. So I was actually at my local used bookstore and um, this is just a heck of a find. So I, I obviously have all these Terry Pratchett books, but you know, whoever is going to get these is, you know, it's going to get a steal. You know, like Carpe Jugulum, The Truth, Thief of Time. Just there's so many great books. So here I was actually at my local Indigo and I shot this on March 20th. So this is two days before Kingdoms of Death is supposed to come out. So um, <laughs> someone had a little boo-boo by putting this on the shelf already. All right. So here we go. We're just going to get looking into um, some of the some of the just some aisles here looking at some shelves. Again, I'm going to apologize for the shakiness. This is my first time kind of doing this type of thing. And uh, I didn't even know if I could do this at like a used bookstore or a thrift store. So I was a little nervous at first, you know, with my camera to just be walking around filming the bookshelves. But the thing is, I'm not filming anybody. So, but yeah, I saw some Steven Erickson's here, which is really cool. And I already have them. The only Steven Erickson I'm really looking for is the the crippled god i just haven't seen it yet i found every other book um so this that this store uh, this was a talis and um just didn't really find many good books um <clears throat> you're, i'm gonna come up to one eventually soon that i uh i did pick up but i think it was only one book at this location but there were there was some um, this the thing with this one that usually they're really good they'll separate their fantasy and their horror sections but um and like with their romance and and so like and these were all mixed uh, it's very rare so you got a nice stephen king here wizard in glass uh it's got like the illustrated editions in so you see like just they're all mixed there's like danielle Steele. You, you'll find danielle Steele everywhere you go no matter what um what what bookshelf or oh see we got more stephen erickson like that's a really nice copy to the dust of dreams i, I do have that one so i didn't pick it up but uh yeah let's keep having a look here because I, I really like doing this voiceover. It's kind of fun, um, but <laughs> the only thing is I noticed thing. Uh, oh, maybe I, I missed some of these books as I was get, getting my first look through here. So yes, I see a lot of like Fifty Shades of Grey again there. Uh, you know, you, you see a lot of the same kind of books like Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, The Da Vinci Code, a lot of George Martin stuff. Uh, so a lot of the same stuff is just going to kind of crop up and again and again which which is normal um there's just there's so many of those books out there so yeah see look george martin there we go <clears throat> again more george martin just in like the uh the mass copy so yeah this one again there's a den of thieves i just saw by james stewart i thought that was kind of cool but i'm like ah eh. <laughs> you'll notice i have a hard time putting some of the books oh, yeah i gave up there you can see i was like yeah too much too much work so yeah, and this is cool. This Godzilla on my mind. It was like um, kind of like a kaiju book, but uh, I ended up I ended up leaving it. I, I just don't know if I'll ever look at it. Uh, yeah, again, a lot of romance here. Um, nothing too. Some Steve Larson books. I've read those. They're okay. Like I, um, you know, it, it, the story of his his story is a bit more sad than just the uh, the series itself. So again, a little bit shaky cam here. Just trying to. Cause sometimes like there's people walking behind me, so <laughs> I'm like tripping but this is this we're gonna come to the book i get here so it's indiana jones and the dinosaur egg uh that was really quick sorry guys but um we'll keep going along there because that was the only book i found at this uh thrift store there's really really wasn't much and this place has been pretty good for me like i've got like my hardcover of like elantris here my hardcover of like warbreaker i think i even got my hardcover of the martian oh we got a gaiman neil gaiman um, <clears throat> this is like the show cover. I, I really don't like, you know, like screen capture, like book covers. I tend to never buy those. I just, they don't appeal to me at all. I, you guys all know from my collection that I, uh, <laughs> I prefer the, the hardcover. So yeah, we're just kind of like flying through here. It's like, oh, there's a gunslinger there. 
Um, ah, so here we go. Uh, we got Robin Hobb, Fool's Assassin. This is a nice, nice copy and hardcover. So I did end up picking that up. Uh, I see some good books up here. We got Dune. Uh, whereas, oh yeah, lots of, there's lots of like, um, this is cool, this Kate Elliott book. I thought about picking it up, but I'm like, I already have these series in paperback, and I don't really need to start looking for them in hardcover, especially since I haven't read them yet. So, um, I, I pass this one up. I'm just looking, oh, I almost dropped it, you can see. I'm, uh, you know, looking to find, I was looking mainly if there's a signature, if that, that would have tipped me over the edge if, if, uh, if I was going to buy it. So, there was a lot of Star Trek on these shelves, I remember, just tons of Star Trek, but... Um, as you can see, I'm a little close here trying to... So look, there's another Robin Hobb Fools, Aaron and, and Terry Brooks. So a lot of these Catherine Kurtz books, like these Darren e. Rising, I already got from Ralph in my big book haul. So I didn't need to pick these up again. Um, again, you'll always find... You'll see copies of Lord of the Rings all the time. Uh, yeah, again, there's Lord of the Rings. And there's T.H. White there, too, the, uh, the Once and Future King. Oh, I pulled these out. These are cool, these older copies of uh, Forgotten Realms. Yeah, thumbs up on those. Let's see here. Yeah, again, like as I'm kind of pulling stuff up, it's a little shaky. Oh yeah, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That was kind of a cool, cool, uh, a cool addition there. I didn't pick it up in the end. I'm not. Uh, the only thing I think I picked up here was the copy of Assassin's Quest. So again, more Star Trek on this shelf. Just there's there's so many Star Trek books. Um, <clears throat> here we are looking at the uh, the Anne McCaffrey. I think I'm gonna pull them out. Yeah. So uh, you know Anne McCaffrey like. Even though I think it's fantasy, it's really around the White Dragon where it starts to become a little bit more, um, <laughs> a little bit more sci-fi. So you got Wizard of Earthsea there. All right, so this is usually the a lot of the bookstores will mix like the horror and the fantasy, like um, especially with a lot of Stephen King's. Like there's a lot of hardcovers of Stephen King's I find at uh, these bookshelf, these bookstores. And so I'm gonna pull out this Stephen Brust here in a second. This is cool. Um, I've read these, I think, I believe I've read these, the Stephen Bruss books. I had a lot of, I read a lot of them when I was, when I was younger and, uh, in, uni in, in university, when I was younger and I was going to the library. So, again, lots of Stephen King's. I'm going to pull out these Legends books, too. This is really kind of cool. It's got a little bit of, uh, little, like, shorts and stuff by other authors, but I, I don't end up picking it up at the end of the day. So, let's continue on here. So, we're, I think we're going to go to another shelf, maybe even another store, I think. So, yeah, we're at a different store here. This is a Salvation Army. Um, this book I did pick up. This is the Dirk Gently Holistic uh, uh, Detective Agency. I watched that show with my wife. Really enjoyed it. And I, I love Douglas Adams, like, uh, <clears throat> with the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So, again, I think this is the only book I picked, ended up picking up at the store. But there was a lot of, like, Raymond Feist and, like, David Eddings books here that were really cool. Like, if you um, if you do see any, like, the Belgiriad books or the Malorian, I'd recommend picking them up. Especially some of the, you'll see some of the copies I pull out here um again sorry for the shaking it's hard to film when it's like this so yeah they got Polgara the sorceress there um let's see what else they pull yeah some more more Raymond E. Feist so again some some cool books in this in this uh the Salvation Army I find this is a weird book I don't know why I picked that one up it was at the Wheel of Time but then it was like uh something to do with like Hinduism and stuff like that or Buddhism so I was like oh that's weird so I put it back um Let's see what we got we get like oh yeah here we go here we get some like Terry Brooks and uh, there that's right this there were some Terry Brooks hardcovers in this store that I liked uh, the Enchantress Endgame yeah so that see these are beautiful copies of the I actually have the exact same copies I got from Ralph um, so I didn't need to pick them up uh, you'll notice with me I always look at Michael Crichton <laughs> I'll always pick up a Michael Crichton and um, especially hardcovers because you know, there might be the one day on an off chance that I find a signed copy. So, moving on here again, like there. Oh yeah, this is cool. These a lot of hardcover Terry Brooks at this store. Still, still the same store, uh, the Salvation Army near uh, near where I live. Um, you find some uh, find some decent books, but I didn't pick any of these up. I already had them from Ralph um, in like the paperback, so I didn't need to get them in hardcover, especially since they're not like something I'd want to display or. Uh, something I'm gonna be reading like anytime soon. So, the one thing I've noticed with the Salvation Army too is uh, they rarely have Stephen King books. 
And uh, from what I've been told and I've talked to people is they tend to throw them out uh, because they're uh, more of like the horror genre and uh, it's just something to do with the, you know, the, the beliefs of the Salvation Army that they don't like to have uh, like the horror-esque books on the, on the shelf, which, you know, to each their own, that's their prerogative, but uh, I will be throwing them out because some of them are cool. And uh, so, yeah, we're almost done with this store. Again, the only thing I found was that Dirk Gently and, yeah. Oh, this is cool. I, I was going to pick that up for my son, but then my wife said, no, we have it. That's my biggest issue I find when I'm out book thrifting is uh, keeping an accurate list of uh, <laughs> what I actually own and what I don't. Um, so, yeah, we're almost done here on this in this, uh, this book sh <laughs> this. Uh, at uh, this store, it was it wasn't bad. I always got pop in here like once a month just to see if they got anything, and uh, usually, usually I'll get like one or two books. But today was a bit of a miss. Uh, just just the Dirk Gently, which is fine, you know. Uh, it's a really small book, so oh, and just showing off some more of the like the David Eddings stuff I found. If you've read any like David Eddings, like with the the Malorian and um, well the Belgiriad first, <laughs> the Malorian is like so it's it's like, essentially. Uh, the same story <laughs> over again, you know, change the name, change the dates kind of thing, and it's, uh, you've got the Malorian, which is kind of funny, but, yeah, so, I think we're going to be done here soon, we'll be moving on, this is kind of cool, oh yeah, the Ian Fleming book, this is cool, I love James Bond, James Bond is, my dad is, my dad's English, and, uh, when we were younger, we would always watch James Bond on the weekend, he'd put on a James Bond movie like Roger Moore, or, uh, um, you know, Timothy Dalton and stuff like that. So we were always watching, like, James Bond movies. I, I love the old James Bond movies. So here we are. We're at another store. This store, I found some great books. I uh, really... I, I do have um, a picture of the cart in the end of some of the books I got. So absolutely cool books. So here's... Yeah. So here is one of the books I'm going to buy. So this is the Mercedes Lackey book. Uh, this is cool. The hardcover. This is the first edition, uh, first edition of the Serpent War, uh, Raymond E. Feist book. I actually messaged Dom, Dominish Books, about this. I'm like, what do you think to this? He's like, yeah, that's legit. It's a first edition copy, hardcover edition. Um, so yeah, these uh, these Obsidian trilogy by uh, Mercedes Lackey and James Mallory, uh, they were really cool. I'm, I'm hopefully I zoom out a bit here, but I don't think I do. But they're really nice editions. I don't have those. My wife likes. Um, Mercedes Lackey. So then there's Sarah J. Moss there. Kind of rare you see her books, to be honest, because she's so popular. Oh, there's this Jim Butcher. Uh, it's kind of nice. So <laughs> when you see books like that and they got the original price tag on them, I kind of tend to uh, like skip a little bit. This was cool. Emperors and Gladiators. Like you guys know, I'm a classics nut. Um, it's my degree is in classical civ, so I ended up picking that one up too. Uh, just showing off more of these hardcovers, uh, Mercedes Lackey. I do have that book there, that Ga Guy Gabriel K, The Last Light of the Sun, so I didn't need to pick that up. So, just moving along here back on the shelf. Um, I see I see that Jim Butcher there. I didn't need that because I do have those those books. Um, those books are kind of cool. They're like the, uh, you know, Pokemon meets the Roman Legion. So there, more Michael Crichton. I'm always, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll always kind of show off Michael Crichton, give a thumbs up to Michael Crichton. He's one of my favorite authors of all time. Uh, so let's see, keep going here. I don't think, oh yeah, this is cool with Anne McCaffrey. I didn't end up picking it up in the end, but uh, it's just kind of cool. You see, you see a lot of the books here are like these library editions where they've got like the plastic on them still and covering them up. So some very, very nice, uh, very nice books. I hope you guys are enjoying this these book hunt, or I hope it's not too boring. And me doing the voiceover for oh, this is cool. My wife handed me this is a uh, hardcover edition of the Dragon Bone Chair. It's from Jeff. <laughs> it looks like this is from Jeff Rosenberg's collection. So uh, Rosenberger, thank you, Jeff. Um, oh, yeah. Again, I'm looking for a signature. It's just something I out of habit I do, uh, but you know I still picked it up. Uh, so going on here again there's just more Mercedes Lackey you can see like some of the uh, and some David Eddings too I believe I have these copies so I don't uh, don't need another uh, another set so uh, yeah a lot of David Eddings here a lot of Mercedes Lackey uh, sorry my filming editing filming isn't been great but um, I believe that's the uh, the last here okay so moving on Nothing much here. A lot of romance stuff. Um, I'm going to show off this Jack White book. You see a lot of Jack White now and again. 
at at least the thrift stores near me. More t more uh, Terry Brooks. It's all the like the the sub like the sub uh, genre stuff. This is cool. Winter King by uh, Bernard Cornwell. Cornwell. I uh, I don't have that, but I decided to leave it. Uh, I should have probably picked it up because I'll I'll show you soon what's uh, you know at this store. It was a heck of a deal on that on that weekend um so another another roman yeah anything kind of rome i'll i'll always look at just because uh i'm a nut for that kind of stuff and uh i used to read a lot of stephen sailor stuff where it was like this uh roman private eye it was kind of cool so this is oh this is cool the blinding knife i i'll always look at these two you you always tend to find blinding knife and uh the black uh, i think black prism <clears throat> at uh, stores never find the uh the second book or the third book third and fourth book are the hardest to get so i don't know why i'm struggling with that one i couldn't uh i was just doing it one-handed again so another stephen king eyes of the dragon here this is kind of cool cool edition oh yeah again michael Crichton. i don't actually look at the signature on this one i don't know why i usually do but that's yeah thumbs up for michael Crichton. um i know one day i will find a signed Crichton. <laughs> I just don't want to pay the prices that are on like eBay or uh, like Book Depository or you know, they're just they they're pretty expensive. Since he's obviously since he's passed away, uh, he's not going to be signing any more books. So uh, a signed uh, a signed Michael Crichton is always rare. So yes, more Raymond Feist. I have all these, but they were nice copies. Um, a little bit worn, a little bit uh, you know worn, but that's fine. You know that means they've been loved and read and. Uh, yeah, they're nice. They're really nice. This is this this store I go to. It's it's always uh, a good store. There's always something like I've got a lot of Terry Pratchett's from this. Um, I think a lot of the science of Discworld books I got from here. So here it is. Yeah, two dollars paperback, and then it was fifty percent off that day. So just kind of showing you in the cart what I ended up buying. So I did get this full The Obsidian Trilogy by um, Mercedes Lackey and James Mallory. These are just gorgeous covers like absolutely cool like sword and sorcery with the whole dragon theme i don't i haven't read these so um but for the price i paid especially for that serpent shrine uh, book and then even like the jim butcher book and um that dragon bone chair copy i ended up getting like i have the dragon bone chair but this is just a cool like hardcover edition i thought that hey i'm gonna pick it up for it was a it ended up being like i think for all those books it was like eleven dollars so yeah, so just kind of showing more more shelves here. In the name of the wind, pointing that out. I, I'm a fan of Rothfuss. Oh, this is cool. This this store they have some great books like this. Got Fall of Hyperion here. I need to read that. Probably gonna read that in May. Um, but you see lots of Terry Brooks, like uh, Tolkien, uh, Terry Goodkind. Wizards for His Rule is actually quite a hard book to find nowadays. Um, they seem to be popular. Again, more Star Trek. I'm going to pull out uh, the Werner Vinge here in a sec, the fire upon the deep. So whoever's going to you know, walk into this store is going to have one heck of a day. Because there were, there were some big, big books. There was a Witcher there. We got Endymion too. I don't know, am I going to... Yeah, I kind of get the thumbs up. Hard to see here. And Oh yeah, Jurassic Park. That's a cool... That's like the movie edition. And some Joe Abercrombie. Those are really nice. I, uh, and again, more David Eddings. David Eddings is one you always kind of see. Some Asimov there. So, yeah, moving down. Like, like I said, they a lot of these stores tend to combine the um, the horror and the fantasy section. So they'll have like fantasy on top and then horror on the bottom. Um, one thing you know, I do if you if you're looking for Stephen King, you know, look for the Bachman books. You'll find them like the f f a four set collection. Uh, there's either a red edition where they they have a skull or a black edition find any of those pick them up at a used bookstore just to flip them because i've picked them up and then i've sold them for like 40 bucks so just moving along here nice patrick rothfuss and some uh, more dragon lance books uh it's like uh this is one of my favorite bookstores here see like the nice copy of uh, i'm gonna pull this out the stone of farewell by tad williams uh i do have a copy so i don't uh, i do not need to buy that one uh, so just going across here Yes, yeah, just some some really interesting covers. This this bookstore I go to this uh, this Value Village has always been a winner for me. I know I'm a little close here. I'll try and back it up. There is people people behind me. Um, so yeah, Brian Jacques with the Redwall books are some of the uh, books I've been collecting. I only need like three more. I'm gonna pull out there. It is the Pratchett going postal. Uh, 
it's such a fantastic book and uh, you know someone's gonna get really lucky today if they came and uh, they were looking for some Pratchett at this uh, bookstore so more Brian Jacques uh, it's it's harder you know once you uh, when you have a lot of a series and you only need two or three books in the series to find those other three it's it's very difficult so it's kind of the running theme today a lot of Star Trek <laughs> uh, people have been uh, donating all their Star Trek books away you do find these a lot of these Charlene Harris in the uh, the fantasy section. Um, really nice Guy Gabriel Cade there sailing to Sorrentum, um, and again more Redwall, the Marl Fox. That's one I have. So look, Game of Thrones. There we go. Oh, Terry Pratchett. Here we are. The color of magic. Uh, I'm gonna give up here. I think I I can't do it. And yeah, he gave up. There, there we're done. So yeah, Shadow of the Empire. That's a great uh, book. Some uh, this is a nice like, like library edition of Steven Erickson too. So and uh, some McCaffrey. I always like to look in the hardcover sections first, right at the bottom of the shelves. You can find some amazing books. Uh, moving a little quick here because there's a lot of books on these shelves. So right at the top, a little shaky. We've got some Neil Gaiman, American Gods. I do. I don't mind that copy of American Gods. We did see one earlier at another store. Yeah, so moving on from the the Neil Gaiman, it's gonna keep going down the uh, the aisle here. Some really nice books at this bookstore. Again, as I said, you know, like a Born to Run there. Uh, some more Mercedes Lackey. Uh, yeah, it's it's just there's oh I'm gonna pull out this Six of Crows here too by Leah Bardugo. Um, I almost bought it. I don't. I just think I didn't. Re I don't remember if I had it or not. So I I kind of pass it up. Some Guy Gabriel K there. Uh, George Martin uh, with the uh, Dance of Dragons. I'm probably gonna yeah thumbs it down. Yeah, that's I thought I would do that. But you got some Steven Erickson on this shelf. Some Steven Do Steven R. Donaldson. I almost picked these up. I decided not to just because like I got so many books on my TBR. Um, you know, David Eddings there again. Uh, like he, Eddings is everywhere at all these used bookstores. Same for Mercedes Lackey. Um, just kind of showcasing another book that I already have. And there's you know Back to the Future Part Three there if you guys saw. So, yeah, this is like this. This is one of my favorite stores uh, to go to. Always end up walking away with something. Oh, Dan Simmons, I have this in hardcover. Olympos, it's a, a beautiful cover, you know. But uh, yeah, like there's some really good, uh, some really good books here today, uh, and, and someone's gonna get lucky and you know pull out some of the books that uh, that I, I showcase in this in this video. So I got some Robin Hobb here. I know this series is not really recognized as a good series by her. I have three of the four books. Um, nice guy, Gabriel K here. I almost picked that one up too. I don't think I have that one. Again, just another copy, hard copy of A Dance with Dragons. You know, maybe just a sign that uh, that book's not a great because <laughs> it's always getting donated. Um, very rare too to see these copies of The Wheel of Time. I don't see many of them. Um, this is going to be a running theme with me, obviously, with Michael Crichton. I'm going to be pulling, uh, <laughs> I always pull out the Michael Crichtons to have a look at them. I just kind of like to see, just in the off chance, that I'll get a signed copy. I know it's really rare and it's going <laughs> to, it's, it's very unlikely to happen, but you know what? Um, unlikely things happen all the time. So again, I find another copy of Next and it's, uh, seems to be nice and I'm going to have a look, of course, to see if, uh, if it's signed. <laughs> So, yeah, no, it uh, didn't get lucky there, obviously, but, um, yeah, just to show you, like, there's a lot of, like, great books, you know, seen some Raymond E. Feist in the hardcovers here, like, Ellie Modesta Jr., um, it, you know, it's always even more, like, again, David Eddings here, like, just, you know, look, look around in your, carefully look at your, uh, your used bookstore, take your time, don't rush through, because some people pick stuff up and put them back in the wrong spot, too, and, like, I don't know how many times i found a book in the wrong spot, and uh, you know pick something up so but there yeah like night watch here like you know it's a bit of a rough copy but uh you know dead house gates like just and then we got toll the hounds too so some really good books at this bookstore i've always always had um just great luck at this store so more martin again obviously and look men at arms i passed that one up i don't know why i didn't talk about that midnight tides uh, Last Wish, oh, you know, I, and there's still Jurassic Park there too, and The Hobbit, this is a, that's a really gorgeous copy, uh, copy of the, the Hobbit, I really like that one, um, but yeah, just again, like, you know, the, even these paperbacks, like, some great ones, like, there's a Clive Barker there, 
and uh, like some of these now like as I'm as I'm re as I'm recording this voiceover uh, that I missed that I just you know it's hard to look when you're looking through the phone and uh, you know trying to find books again you know there's the um, uh, the Star Trek books there and uh, this Alistair Reynolds is really cool but I have it I have Chasm City so and there's Promise of Blood so that little skinny book there is actually an HP Lovecraft that I, uh, I looked at later but uh, so and then I pulled down this break Blake Crouch book too I almost picked it up I decided just to leave it for now so and lastly is we you know these are books that my phone died <laughs> so I found these two uh, Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky and the Satanic Verses by Salman Rushdie that's actually a first edition first print book absolute uh, cool book but uh, also a very controversial book so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>